Mastering Innovation Methods Operational excellence is a ticking time bomb waiting to revolutionize our organization's performance. Where in our organization can we most effectively apply the key principles of operational excellence and how will they ultimately impact its overall performance and efficiency? The Harmony of Efficiency and Humanity In the pursuit of operational excellence, organizations often focus on streamlining processes, eliminating waste, and maximizing output. While these efforts are crucial, they can also lead to an unintended consequence, the dehumanization of work. As I've witnessed firsthand, the relentless drive for efficiency can result in a culture that values machines over people, processes over passion. However, I've also seen organizations that have achieved operational excellence without sacrificing the very essence of their humanity. These organizations have found a delicate balance between efficiency and empathy, creating an environment where people thrive and innovation flourishes. The case of the clockwork factory. I recall a visit to a state-of-the-art manufacturing facility touted as a paragon of operational excellence. The production line was a marvel of precision with every movement choreographed to perfection. Workers moved with military-like discipline, their every action calibrated to optimize output. It was a mesmerizing display of efficiency, but something felt amiss. As I observed the workers, I noticed the absence of laughter, the lack of conversation, and the eerie silence that pervaded the floor. It was as if the relentless pursuit of efficiency had sucked the soul out of the workplace. I couldn't help but wonder, was this truly the pinnacle of operational excellence, or was it a recipe for burnout and disengagement? The Power of Empathy and Connection In stark contrast, I visited a small, family-owned business that had also achieved remarkable levels of operational excellence. But what struck me was the warmth and camaraderie that permeated the workplace. Workers laughed together, shared stories, and genuinely seemed to enjoy each other's company. The production line was still efficient, but it was underscored by a profound sense of humanity. The owner, a wise and compassionate leader, attributed their success to the simple yet powerful notion that people are not machines. She had created an environment where employees felt seen, heard, and valued, where their unique perspectives and talents were celebrated. This in turn had fostered a culture of innovation, where workers were empowered to experiment, take risks, and push the boundaries of what was thought possible. Practical Steps to Harmony So, how can organizations strike a balance between efficiency and humanity? Here are some actionable steps to consider. 1. Map the human experience. Beyond process mapping, create a human map that highlights the emotional, social, and psychological aspects of work. Identify pain points, areas of frustration, and opportunities for connection. 2. Design for empathy. Incorporate empathy into the design of your processes, products, and services. Ask yourself, how will this impact the people involved? What are their needs, desires, and fears? 3. Celebrate humanity. Create spaces and opportunities for people to share their stories, showcase their talents, and connect with one another. This can be as simple as a weekly wins and grin session or a dedicated idea incubator space. 4. Lead with compassion. Leaders must embody empathy and compassion, leading by example and creating a culture of care. This is not about being soft or weak, it's about recognizing the inherent value of every individual. 5. Innovate with intuition. Encourage workers to trust their instincts, listen to their gut, and explore unconventional solutions. This is where the magic happens, where human creativity meets operational efficiency. The Symphony of Efficiency and Humanity As I reflect on these experiences, I'm reminded that operational excellence is not a zero-sum game, where efficiency must come at the cost of humanity. Rather, it's a harmonious marriage of the two, where each informs and enriches the other. By embracing empathy, connection, and creativity, organizations can achieve far more than they ever thought possible and create a workplace that truly thrives. In the end, it's not about choosing between efficiency and humanity, 
It's about creating a symphony where both elements blend in perfect harmony. The key principles of operational excellence, namely, focus on the customer, use data-driven decision-making, continuously improve and optimize processes, foster a culture of collaboration and empowerment, and drive innovation, can be applied to various areas of the organization to achieve significant improvements in performance and efficiency. To begin with, the customer-centric approach of operational excellence can be applied to the organization's customer service function. By mapping out customer journeys and identifying pain points, the organization can streamline its customer service processes to reduce wait times, improve response rates, and increase overall customer satisfaction. This can be achieved by implementing a unified customer service platform that integrates with existing systems, enabling seamless communication across channels and providing personalized support to customers. By doing so, the organization can enhance customer loyalty, drive retention, and ultimately increase revenue. The next area of focus for operational excellence is the organization's supply chain management function. By leveraging data analytics and visualization tools, the organization can gain real-time insights into its supply chain operations, identify bottlenecks, and optimize logistics to reduce lead times, improve delivery accuracy, and minimize inventory costs. This can be achieved by implementing a cloud-based supply chain management platform that provides end-to-end -end visibility, enables predictive analytics, and facilitates collaboration with suppliers and logistics providers. By streamlining its supply chain operations, the organization can reduce costs, improve quality, and increase agility in responding to changing customer demands. Another critical area of focus for operational excellence is the organization's quality management function. By implementing a culture of continuous improvement, the organization can drive quality excellence by empowering employees to identify areas for improvement, documenting and analyzing process deviations, and implementing corrective actions. This can be achieved by establishing a quality management system that provides a structured approach to quality improvement, enables employee involvement and engagement, and facilitates data-driven decision-making. By focusing on quality excellence, the organization can reduce defects, improve yields, and increase customer satisfaction. The principles of operational excellence can also be applied to the organization's innovation function. By fostering a culture of innovation, the organization can encourage experimentation, incubate new ideas, and accelerate the development of new products and services. This can be achieved by establishing an innovation pipeline that provides a structured approach to idea generation, enables cross-functional collaboration, and facilitates rapid prototyping and testing. By driving innovation, the organization can stay ahead of the competition, increase revenue growth, and improve market share. Furthermore, the principles of operational excellence can be applied to the organization's human resources function. By empowering employees and providing them with the skills and knowledge needed to excel, the organization can improve productivity, reduce turnover, and increase employee engagement. This can be achieved by implementing a talent management system that provides a structured approach to employee development, enables cross-functional collaboration, and facilitates performance management. By focusing on employee empowerment, the organization can improve morale, reduce absenteeism, and increase overall performance. In addition, the principles of operational excellence can be applied to the organization's financial management function. By using data analytics and visualization tools, the organization can gain real-time insights into its financial performance, identify areas for improvement, and optimize financial processes to reduce costs, improve cash flow, and increase profitability. This can be achieved by implementing a financial planning and analysis platform that provides end-to-end -end visibility, enables predictive analytics, and facilitates collaboration with stakeholders. By optimizing financial processes, the organization can improve its financial health, increase investor confidence, and enhance its competitiveness. Ultimately, the application of the key principles of operational excellence to various areas of the organization will have a significant impact on its overall performance and efficiency. By focusing on customer satisfaction, driving innovation, optimizing processes, empowering employees, and improving quality, 
The organization can achieve significant improvements in revenue growth, customer loyalty, and market share. Furthermore, the organization can reduce costs, improve productivity, and enhance its overall competitiveness. By embracing operational excellence, the organization can create a culture of continuous improvement, drive innovation, and achieve sustainable growth and success.